Entebbe Grade A Hospital was the original institution in this area and was completed in 1904. Built by the colonial government was meant to cater for the British community with the Grade B facility built in 1918 for the native Ugandans. After independence in 1962, the hospital was united under the government administration. However, the grade F facility, which is in a dire need for rehabilitation, has been catering to rabies cases as well as patients of diabetes, HIV and tuberculosis. Although it is located next to State House in Entebbe, the grade A hospital is in a very sorry state and very much at odds with its neighbor. Its features are leaking a bestos roof that has also affected the rest of the structure with most of the property they are now compromised by water. One of the other structures that continue to portray the bad state of this facility is this latrine you're seeing behind me. The status in which it is continue to portray that there can be an accident if maybe patients come to use it. This structure which used to be the toilet for gentlemen has also now been turned into a store to save a few things than be salvaged. The rest of the facilities are in unspeakable bad state. This state of affairs has compelled the hospital administration to close the facility and relocate patients for fear that the structure could collapse. Bates has been relocated to grade B and uh, TB clinic has been relocated to isolation center together with the mental health. And why we have relocated them is because we want to serve our patients better. Uh, at grade A, the buildings at grade A, most of them are dilapidated and um, they, there is no enough space. However, some of the patients, including those living with HIV, are struggling to get a place to seek appropriate health care. Authorities say they are in consultation with the Minister of Health on how to improve this facility. We are in touch with uh, our ministry uh, about uh, the plans for, 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 for that place. It remains to be seen when and if the facility will receive the care it needs. Kamana Ivan Walnyolo, NTV, in Entebbe.